Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today we're going to introduce the new parts that I've been working on. And we got a few misfit parts that we're probably going to sell half price. And I'll show you all that. So, hopefully you got your Trump coffee in your hands and you're watching my videos and hooray. <laughs> so let me put you down here and show you what we have. Alright, for starters, I went ahead and started offering the Bison Built 3D printed file handles. I have them on all my tools and working on all of them trying to get them all get a nice set going and uh, these are set screwed with two set screws steel stainless steel and looks pretty nice fits your hand real nice it's got a grip so we're gonna have these on my site and I've got four of those right now. It takes four days to print for all four of these. So, and they're solid. So you can drill these to fit whatever file you want. Uh, the main thing is this hole goes in probably about up to there. So if you're using a big file like this one, I just drilled it out just barely smaller than the widest part where I was going to stop. And I, would, I drilled that just halfway through. So the smaller end of the file handle is resting in the original small hole. So these are meant to drill to fit your file now in the case of the small file like your chainsaw file uh, it fits this just right and then you just put your set screws in it and you're done but when you're using big files you gotta adapt when I did this one it's got the flat uh, shank and I just did the same thing that I did for the bigger round one. So half of it's in the original hole and half of it's in the wider hole. So enough about the file handles. So now let's get with the uh, Challenger 45 and 50 barrel band slanted. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them available as of now if these sell then I will print more so these will be on my site so we've got six of those then we've got seven of the thinner version for the 45 and 50 AEA Challenger, the new ones. Um, the reason this one is thinner is because it is half of one of these. What had happened was it got all the way printed halfway through and it uh, stopped printing filament stopped coming out for some reason. I don't know what happened, but it made a big mess. Anyway, um, but I was still able to salvage this simply because I have two set screws in it. It completed one of the set screws and it almost looks like it was intentionally done that way. So these here will be sold half price because they are thinner than the originals. So I threaded all of them and tapped them and put set screws in them and they're ready to go too. So if you want the thinner one, I mean, you could use both of them. You could use a thinner one and then 
at the end of the barrel and a thicker one at the beginning of the barrel from the butt stock or the tail or the forearm grip or you can turn it around like that and make it look pretty sharp <laughs> the sky's the limits right so i'm gonna offer these now if these sell pretty good and people are really interested in just the two set screw uh, barrel band that's real thin for the challenger uh, if they sell well, I'll just uh, go in and edit the file from this one and cut it in half and do a half. So it's just all on seeing what's going to sell and what's not going to sell. All right, then we've got another mis misprint. And this is the Challenger 45 and 50 barrel support with the Picatinny rail on the bottom. Now, the reason this is a misfit is because there should be a same amount of distance from this edge to the beginning of that hole as it is from the beginning of this hole to the edge of this. So, again, this one I ran out of filament because I wasn't checking it like I should have been. <laughs> so, I can still put a set screw in there, but you're just going to be missing the 50 cal part. This is a misfit that will be sold half price. These here are going to be uh, 45 and they're going to, uh, these will be listed as half price. So whatever half of 45 is, that's what I'll sell this for. Uh, I've got six of those. Now I've got another six of these printing right now that um, hopefully will do okay. Uh, I've, I've got it printing on the new printer and it's been doing pretty good. So um, anyway, um, I've got another set that are going to be hopefully not a misfit. So this is going, these are going to be misfit parts. Uh, these are the misfit parts, these are the misfit parts, and these two that I'm getting ready to show you is going to be a one of a kind. I will never sell these to the public after this. Uh, this is going to be a one-time thing simply because it did work out kind of but it took me three tries to get one. And I was wasting too much filament and um, they don't like to print very well because of all the grooves. So I wanted strength instead of cosmetics. I kind of was hoping for both, but um, I got two of these. I got one that's got a Picatinny rail on the bottom and I did go ahead and put set screws in it because I'll go ahead and sell these. Uh, I've got one that has the Picatinny rail on the bottom and I've got one that does not. Uh, neither one of these should have a uh, bipod on them. Uh, well, this one we know we ain't going to, but this one here it was really more for like a flashlight or something like that. So same as all the rest of my parts. Uh, I, do, I don't suggest using bipods on, on my stuff. Uh, although I do it, uh, I don't recommend it because of <laughs> suing issues. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and offer these for sale. Um, you could probably put it with a barrel band or get you two of these thin ones and do something like that anyway I'm just messing around right now but anyway um, this is what I've got for the Challenger that's uh, ready to go at the moment 
Uh, I'll still have to thread these and put set screws in them, but it'll still just it'll still be just as strong. The only difference is you're going to be missing the it started printing the 50 cal because I had 45 and 50. So I mean you can take a file and file around that and get rid of that one spot right there and it'll say AEA Challenger 45. So that's what uh, the misfit looks like. <laughs> So I even had one misfit that quit printing and only got two of the holes. This one here started the hole, as you can see, printing it, and it stopped. Now this one I'm not going to sell to nobody. I mean, it would work. You'd only have two set screws. So, I mean, you could add two set screws to that, but... That's not my standard. <laughs> my standard is four set screws, and I can get four in these these two or these. So uh, we're going to sell these as a misfit as half price, and we're going to sell these as a misfit at half price. And these right here are forty five. So you'll get these half that, and you'll get these half of what the originals would be, which would be 45. So same with this one as it is for this one. So so there you have the parts that we have for the uh, Challenger and my file handles. Uh, these things are pretty solid and I've already sold four of these to uh, uh, bullfrog air guns uh, he sent me two stickers by the way thank you very much bullfrog uh, and he's supposed to do a video on it so check his channel out and look for that to happen uh we'll see <laughs> uh but i like them i got them on all my stuff so it just takes an awful long time for them to print um these right here takes about five days to print six of them and you can tell that i was pretty upset when it got that far and i ran out of filament that was my fault I tried to recover it, but um, <clears throat> couldn't recover it. I tried to go in and follow some directions on YouTube on how to recover a G-code at a certain height so that I could start it printing back where, I, where it left off. But no, my system doesn't have the same capabilities as everybody else's because every time you follow through their directions, something of yours doesn't happen the way it happens for them so then you get lost as to what to do so i couldn't find the z-axis at 67.1 millimeters high and it just wouldn't show me that when i did the search for for that height so i ended up having to start a new print so we started that yesterday and Four more days, we're going to find out if it screws up or it completes. I'm hoping it completes so that you guys can get these. But right now, we have the Misfits if you want, if you're interested in the Misfit. So, don't forget to complete your truck coffee. And you guys have a good one. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Later.